What's up everyone, this is Tech is Tech, your one place for Android and iOS needs. In this video, we are going to learn Premiere Rush on Android. The features are the same on the mobile, which you would expect to find on PC. But to help you learn faster, this video is for you. Now when you open the app, there is a tutorial which guides you through using the app. You can start the tutorial at any time by going to preferences and then start the tour again. To create a new project, tap on this plus sign. The good thing is, you can add media from your devices as well as from Creative Cloud and Dropbox. Down the bottom, there are sample media and rush soundtracks if you want some help in creating the video. On the next screen, you select the media you want to add. You can add more than 100 photos or videos in a single project. Yeah, I tried that. Although it depends on your phone's hardware specifications, but the app can support more than 100 photos or videos in a single project. All the projects you create are saved in the Adobe Creative Cloud, so you can access them on your PC or other devices. That also means that the app syncs the media as well, and you can find all the assets in the Creative Cloud option. So this is the main interface. If you scroll towards the right on the bottom panel, the first option you see is all the assets of the project, while the second one allows you to enable the tracks. You can also switch between the landscape, portrait, and square modes in the third option. To add a title, media, voiceover or start capturing, you can tap on the first plus sign. Anytime you can pinch to stretch the videos on the track, whereas tapping and holding on a video itself allows moving, rotating and changing its position. The feature I like is titles. You can add titles to the video and the app comes with 38 built-in styles, while the option more titles allows you to browse the Adobe store and find the perfect style for your title. To change the text of the title, you can double tap on the title on the video, while you can change the duration of the title and its start and end position on the track. If you want to separate the audio or expand the audio so you can edit just the audio, then press and hold on a video and the options will pop up. The window shows different options for different types of media. The transition effect is the next feature we are going to explore. For that, we need to split the video into two parts. To split the video, there is a scissors option if you swipe towards the left. Tap on this anytime you want to split a media. The next thing is to select the video for transition effect. We are going to select the second one and tap on the transition button. We only have a few transition effects in Adobe Premiere Rush ATM, but hopefully they will add more soon. The button down the bottom is for duration of the transition. If you go all the way to 3 seconds, the transition effect will take 3 seconds to fully show the video and vice versa if you slide all the way to the left. Like a typical mobile video editor, the app offers filters and it comes with 11 built-in filters. You can also play with these options to find the best color for your video. The switch next to the options is to enable or disable the filter to distinguish between the original and the filtered video. By the way, you can also create your own preset. Just tap on the options and then tap create a preset. You will be promoted to give it a name. Anytime you want to use your presets, you can browse your presets option to explore your presets. The next option is speed. Well, everyone knows what speed does and is. Adobe Premiere Rush comes with advanced speed adjusting features. You can select a custom duration of a video to just change the speed of that part without splitting the video. To try that, first tap on the range speed option and you will see two little icons on the top of the video on the track. Just move around and select the area you want to change the speed of. The ramp option is like the transition effects for audio. It allows you to change the speed of starting and ending of the speed effect. And if you want the app to maintain the pitch of the sound, then you can enable the pitch option. The next feature we are going to discover is the audio. A few quick options are clip volume, mute clip, type of voice, which automatically detects if you already have sound in the video. Auto volume, balance sound, reduce sound noise, reduced echo and a few more. Again, the switch is to distinguish between the original sound and the sound of applied effects. If you don't know much about balancing of sound and reducing of noise, then I would recommend just enabling those two and not touching the slider. Because if you go too far, then you will start losing the naturality of the sound. By default, the app selects a number to maintain the naturality of the sound and reduce the background noise at the same time. 
So if you are new to this, I will not recommend changing the slider. You can watch other videos on YouTube and learn more about noise reduction and balancing of sound before changing the slider. Anyway, we have already talked about the transition feature. You can change the position of the video or rotate the video by just tapping on the video. You have the same options in transform section, although there are some extra options such as lock scale, crop top, crop bottom, etc. which will help you crop the video. We have a few other options such as cut, duplicate and delete the video. You can also enable and disable the highlight feature by tapping on the last button. The second last is for extracting the sound of the video. The app offers to set the quality of the video before exporting. You can leave it auto or if you want the full HD then the app can do that too. To export, just hit the export and we are done. Alright, here is the end of this video. If you have any questions please drop them down below and like the video if it helped. I will surely see you in the next video if you subscribe. Until then, take care.